Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I've got some happy mail to share with you. And I'm gonna be making a loaded clipboard. Um, so this was actually my first time making one of these. I had seen others do it and it looked like a lot of fun. Um, and I really enjoyed this process. So uh, what I've done there is I have uh, created sort of a pattern for where the cutout needs to be to add um, some of my background paper to my clipboard. I purchased a whole batch of these clipboards off of Amazon. I will link the ones that I purchased below for you. Um, this is smaller than eight and a half by 11. Um, I think it measures, um, I can tell you it's about five and three quarters wide by about eight inches tall. So smaller um, than a regular size piece of paper, but I liked that idea. Um, just sort of something a little small, just some some more type of flat mail that you could send uh, just to give your uh, partner a, a little surprise in the mail. So I'm gonna be using uh, the Maggie Holmes Carousel Collection. I have grabbed this pink polka dot paper. I used my pattern there. Now, because these are mass produced, they're not gonna be you know, exact. So I'm just trimming that down to make sure that it fits. Um, you could also curve your edges if you wanted to. I might try that um, on a future one just to help it match a little better on my edges. But I added some ATG. I'm gonna press that down into place. I just made sure it had roughly the same border around all four edges. So I am gonna leave this mostly as a process video for you because I do do a lot of mixing and matching and pulling things in and out. I'll pop back in here and there um, just to give you a little extra info whenever I think you might need it. But I've sped this up quite a bit. Again, just, just leaving it as a process video so you can see how I placed everything together. That's sort of my thinking as I pull things in and out and um, finally end up uh, land on something that I am happy with.
here I'm working on some embellishments that I'm going to include as extra goodies. I'm going to package two of these up and include them along in with the clipboard. So I'm just moving things in and out. What I did was start out with my base square. Um, some of these are cut out, some of them are just patterned paper. They're all roughly the same size. And I pulled in some ephemera, some tickets, and just clustered those together and then took them to my sewing machine and just did one strip of sewing um, down wherever I felt it looked the best. And now I want to add a little bit more glitz or dimension to each of these. So I'm going to pull in some stickers and pop those up. I've got some of the uh, chipboard as well, just, just to give a little bit more dimension to each of these uh, little embellishments. This is another embellishment that I've created and I'm actually really in love with this. I have pulled in some of this ruffled Hobby Lobby trim. I've got to remember to pick up more of this. I could use it on pretty much everything. And I wanted to embellish this snow cone or ice cream cone or cotton candy, whatever you're gonna call it. Um, so I have actually trimmed that ruffle in half and I fiddle around with this for a little bit for for a quick second, I thought I might not be able to get it to do what I wanted it to, but I just kept fussing around um, until I finally got it to lay the way that I wanted it to. And I'm going to use both of these because there's two scoops on there um, and I, I want to make sure everything is covered. Um, so I'm going to add some ATG all over that top portion there and then I can kind of place down my ruffles. Um, 
and just sort of add that into a circle. I'm just gonna tuck that sort of rough edge in underneath there. I will add a little bit more um, art glitter glue just, just to keep that down in place once I get to the end here. And then I fussed around um, with the uh, with the back um, circle or floof or whatever you wanna call it. I, I wanted to create that into a circle as well and then I figured out the best way to do this was actually to make it into a half circle and that way it wasn't standing out too much from the one below. So you'll see me um, place that down and then I actually end up pulling it off again um, because it just wasn't looking um, quite right. It wasn't how I had actually imagined it. Fussing around, trying to move everything the way that I want it. And then I thought I might add in um, <laughs> some of this pink string just for something a little extra. And then I thought, no, no, that's too much. So there you'll see that's where I pull that off. And then I decide much better idea to just create a little half circle. I folded those um, rougher edges underneath, press that down, and then I've got the half circle in the back and the full circle in the front. And it just gives a nice little sort of floof to that, lots of texture. I am very much in love with this. All right, so now that everything is packaged up, I'm gonna give you a nice slow look at the um, background here. I've got some things popped up, some things tucked under. I'm also gonna add in a face mask. I believe I picked that up at Target, um, but I went through my stash and I thought those colors matched perfectly. I'm pulling in one of the carousel cards. I didn't do anything to this. It's exactly how it comes, but again, um, it matches perfectly and it's another extra goodie that easily fits in here nice and flat. I've got my two packaged little embellishments here. Just tucking everything underneath there. And then I've got a little glassine bag full of some of my favorite of the ephemera and a few cut aparts. I'll give you just a little look at what I included there. Love those tickets and the tags. Those are some of my favorite pieces. This is really one of my favorite collections. I do tend to hoard it. I don't use it super often, um, but I found more of it about a year ago at Tuesday morning. So I'm a little bit um, more willing to use what I have now. <laughs> And then of course I've got my little cotton candy or ice cream embellishment, whatever you want to call that. Tuck that under as well. And I will finish off here with a strip of the tear apart tickets. These are also um, very hard to get a hold of. If you check Amazon every once in a while, someone will be willing to part with their stash and you can find them listed. Now, of course, they're gonna be more expensive than retail, but if you're wanting to get your hands on them, that is a good place to look. Here are a few close-ups of the finished project. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I've used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.